My name is Chase Baird. I am a senior at Red Cloud High School in South Dakota. And my question is, how does NIMHD work with Indigenous reservations to address health concerns and issues as priorities to research and understand within those communities? So thank you again for that question. Um, we are an institute that focuses on all uh, racial ethnic minority populations. This is a, a, in our legislation that founded us. So American Indian Alaska Natives uh, representing about 2% of the entire United States population is a very important population for a number of reasons. Uh, the historical legacy uh, of the wrongs done to the native peoples in, in the entire Western Hemisphere, not just North America, uh, is something that we need to own and we need to uh, address as much as possible. The health profile does tell us the story that um, the native populations suffer disproportionately uh, from many conditions compared to other groups. And I think that uh, that uh, gives us a, an area to really make improvements where things are really poorly uh, or worse off, uh, we, can, uh, we can activate. We have a number of programs that, that reach out to um, American Indian Alaska Natives uh, through a competitive grant process at NIH. There have been successful investigators who have uh, been able to network uh, with uh, native communities, not just um, tribal nations uh, in the rural part of the U.S., but also urban American Indians, where, as you may know, 70% of all American Indians live. Um, we have a very strong uh, component in uh, Alaska and the Southeast Central um, uh, Health System. Uh, we uh, help support the tribal epidemiology centers that cover all of the Indian Health Service um, areas. Uh, these are 11 different centers. Uh, we provide support and we're, and we're looking for opportunity to enhance or, or expand that support and leverage other uh, NIH institutes to help us uh, in support through that network. There are other NIH programs that address this. Specifically for COVID, um, there have been, um, uh, I could say, two, two proactive issues. One, um, at least one of the companies worked closely with Lakota Nation to include a NIH-funded uh, uh, clinical research site to recruit participants, and they 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 were able to recruit more Native Americans than uh, the other companies. Uh, there has been a lot of interest in Navajo Nation. I think they worked more with the uh, Pfizer vaccine uh, development uh, in terms of the trial, and um, and we have an office of tribal health research at the, that's in the office of the director that addresses sort of cross-cutting issues, uh, tribal consultations. Uh, and make sure that there's respectful approach to data collection uh, and issues around data sharing or uh, permission to uh, be able to report on data uh, following the processes that are set by, um, uh, by the tribes, including the urban Indians uh, have their own council to, to uh, define this. And finally, on, on the COVID, we have had um, a program called Rapid acceleration of diagnostics for underserved populations. The Congress provided special funding for, the, for uh, this program uh, last year. About, about uh, 69 total uh, projects were funded between September and November. Um, I, I believe around eight to 10 uh, are primarily focused on uh, American Indian Alaska Natives. Um, and so we're very proud of having had that level of success uh, at reaching, uh, uh, at getting uh, research projects in those populations. And, and we look forward to, they're just really getting off the ground to see how we can um, uh, learn from all that. Hope that helped you.